morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,218th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar, and of course that would be me. Good evening, traders, Oscar Carboni bringing you a video being filmed on Tuesday night for trading, Wednesday, September 10th, 2014. As you know, futures trading can be extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. It's certainly not suitable for all traders. Always play stops and make sure you know the risks behind this game if you're going to get involved. Traders, what is on the board? A ah, few topics. First of all, a red Omni in ES, the Dow, and the Russell are red Omni. Boo! We hate those, right? Boo! It's red Omni. But it is what it is, guys. It's a red Omni. So... Down, we're looking for ES Dow Russell. You know, we've been very, very nimble with any short calls. When it dumps, we get out because the buyers seem to come in. So I don't know how long that stays red, but we're starting off that way for at least the onset of trading for the 10th session. The weight of the Dow's double top, the double top on the Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar is taking an effect on our beloved ES and NQ rally. Same topic I gave you in a video two videos ago, right? When this sort of started to come into light, I said, boy, is it going to take an effect? We need to be careful. We've been very nimble with our trading since this double top looking thing has started. So that's what we have. We're going to show you some charts. The gold dropped below that pennant I showed you in the last couple of videos. Very nice on the gold. We'll take a look at that. And the very important thing, the Mastiff Puppy has a name, and we will reveal it in tonight's video. Mastiff Puppy has a name. Traders, thank you so much. You Omni actually sent me in a bunch of great names. So we, what we did was we took all the names, we compiled them down to the most popular, the ones that you sent in the most of. So if it was Omni, 30 people sent Omni, we narrowed it down to the 10 most popular, and then we had my little daughter choose the name. And I will let you know what that is after the chart segment. So, Mastiff Puppy has a name, probably the most important thing on the board for most of you, but the others who actually listen to me. We've got the weight of the double top in the Dow starting to take its effect on ES Dow Russell. And gold certainly dropped below that pennant, but I don't know that we're going to be looking to sell gold tomorrow. Maybe we got to let it cool off a little bit. So traders, I'm going to show you the charts now. There's one more topic I promised to cover in this video, and that topic is how to place orders so that you absolutely get filled. Now, there is no absolutes in this game, and nothing says you will absolutely get stopped with a stop, or you'll absolutely get filled with a fill, but many of you have written to me and said, Oscar, would you please cover a topic, and tell us how to place orders so that we have the best chance of getting filled. So what I'll do for you right now is I will show you your best bet, how you should place those orders, because I think this is probably, seriously, the most important topic of this video. So, if you want to sell the market, let's say any market, we'll call it the S&P, and you wanted to sell it at 1920. If the market was trading at 1912, and you were hoping it would go up, 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 and go to 1920. If you want to get filled, place the order at 19.1975 MIT. MIT, what does it stand for? Market if touched, if you will, mark it if touched, okay? So here's how I want you to place your orders. When you place an order to sell or buy, as long as it's not a stop. So an entry order, I want to get in the market, I've placed my stop already, and it's time for me to get in. You will sell, let's say, to ES, the, the June contract, and you will sell them at... MIT, whatever price you have in mind, 1920 MIT. If you want to be safe, 191975 MIT. The MIT literally stands for market if touched. And I will write it for you and explain it. Market if touched. Now, here's what happens if you've got an order to place at 1920, let's say and the market hits 1920, hits it again 1920, it's the high of the day, and then it drops down to 1910, you will likely not get filled unless you have placed your order market 
if touched. M-I-T. What that will do for you is the moment the market trades at 1920, your order goes to the market at any price. Fill me now. So if you had a really good piece of analysis and the analysis said get in at 1920, you put your order in at 1920 MIT. If it trades 1920, you start getting filled at a price. 1919 and a half, 1920 and a half, somewhere around there, you'll get your fill. Place the order MIT, you will get a fill almost all the time. I have all of my Omniacs place their orders, mark it if touched. Remember that? My gift to you for the traders who are having difficulty getting filled on getting into positions. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. This is that double top that is starting to lean on our beloved S&P and NASDAQ rally. Now, this could very well simply be, if you want to look at it, an inverted head and shoulders and up we will go. But for now, forget this unless it proves itself, that's a top, that's a double top at the highest the market's ever traded in its life, top one, top two, until we get past this double top, it is, start, it is time for us to start respecting it. Until the market gets past it, we respect that double top, it is proving itself. So, double top for now, we'll see where we go. Then you've got the E-mini S&P because the Dow is the main market and the E-mini S&P is just an index of that market. The Dow has spent too much time on the right side of its double top and look what it's starting to do to the ES. You can see it's starting to lean now, right? It's leaning, you see it? So it's starting to give us a little bit of trouble here for our ES. We cannot seem to get past the double top of the Dow. Then there's this, traders. The Russell 2000 is really beginning to feel the effect of that double top in the Dow. Russell 2000 daily bar. Look at this rounded top thing it's putting in. That's one view you can look at it as. Now, I wouldn't call this a top in the market by no means. I'm not saying this at all. Temporary for what's going on right now in the last couple of days, two weeks. Looks like we're going to have to come off a little bit. It's starting to make outside bars, outside reversal type bars. So it looks like we're going to have to come off a little bit in the Russell. But that's one look, that little rounded top, right? Here's another look at the Russell. This could very well be, and I say it is, some form of a bear flag right here. And we're already down through it. And I think that we will continue lower because of that bear flag and the double top in the Dow and the leaning in the S&P. Expect your Russell to head lower on Wednesday. And then, traders, there's this. The gold market. This is where the gold was when I pointed this out to you and said, look, we have dipped below on the pennant. We're below that line. Now we should have some downward pressure. This is where it was, and this is where it went. That's where it was. This is what happened. A round of applause for technical analysis there, right? Can you ask for more? That was beautiful. Yeah. Now, do not, or on the actual short for a lot of this, do not sell it again tomorrow because we're getting markets to start to act a little different than they have been the last few days, which means maybe this will too, right? So cool out for selling on Wednesday, and we'll see what it looks like Wednesday night for Thursday. Now, what could be making everything happen? Why have we reached the double top in Dow? Why is S&P and NASDAQ starting to feel a little pain, especially S&P and Russell? And why could the gold possibly maybe find some legs for a few days? Because the dollar, so let me show you the last long-term gold, and then I'll show you the dollar, which can stop this little downward. So this chart I've been, this chart I've been showing you in a few videos now, this is our really long-term gold chart. Back around 1680, Omni made an official top for gold, and called the top. Then I said this would be a death knell if we ever got through the 200 bar moving average on the weekly. We did. Then just recently, two videos ago, I showed this to you and said, look at this. Look at the bounce, the bounce, the bounce. Each time it did, it put in a line that was more sloping and straight across. Here we are now after it drops. You had the bounce, the bounce, right? So you had the two bounces so far, the sloping top line, the bottom is straight. This and this look very familiar. Anything look familiar? Well, let me tell you, it was up here when I showed this to you. We're down here now. It's starting to work. So the gold, the dailies I just showed you, and the weekly show you, the gold is weak overall, but because of what happened in the ES this afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, let's hold back on selling gold Wednesday. And what could be making all of this happen, as I referred to, is the dollar index. 
I've been showing you this chart, I can't say how many videos now. I started to show, you, show this to you a long time ago when I said we were in a safe zone since 2011. And no one will complain with the dollar inside this zone, and no one has complained, and we're above the Omni average, and that's a fantastic run it made after it stayed above. No one will complain with the dollar uh, uh, as long as it's under here, and as long as it's above here, the world seems to like the way their currency works with ours. But the dollar is just about at the top of its safe zone, I've been pointing out to you for weeks on end. Is that the fluttering that we're seeing in the S&P and the Dow? Very possibly something will happen up here. So get ready for more volatility. This is one of my theories. This is why we're starting to get some awkward action in our indices, because the dollar is reaching the top of its safe zone. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework, never accept anyone's technical opinion without first doing your own analysis. So, traders, you've seen the charts. There's my technical argument for why we're going to start off with this red Omni downside, ES Dow Russell. We'll see if NASDAQ wants to come along in the tranny. Remember the market if touched orders, MIT. Place your orders to get in and get out, MIT. Sells and buys or MIT is not limits. That'll help you. The gold did drop a load of pen and keep your eyes on it now. The Mastiff Puppy has a name. I'm going to read it to you in just a moment. But first, there are 10 of you. Well, there are a lot of you that sent the names. The top 10 list. Can I have the list, please, sir? The top 10 list is in my hand. Drum roll, please. <laughs> All right. The top name was Omni. Yeah, yeah. Omni. Whoa. Second name, Oscar. Whoa. Third name was Winston. Yeah. The fourth name, Raider. Ooh. Number five came in, David. <laughs> Ozzy comes in at number six. I like the Ozzy. Oh. One, two, man. You didn't make Ozzy, buddy. Bishop, number seven. Yeah. Churchill comes in at number eight. And there were tons and tons of you guys who sent these in. Oh, Tatma comes in at number nine. Yeah, yeah. 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 And number 10 was Samson. Samson. Yeah. So each one of you sent in those names. We'll get an Omni t-shirt. Now next, <clears throat> what I thought I would do is tell you the name that was chosen. These were the top 10, but there was 11 names, of course. <laughs> These were the runner-ups. The name, come on up. I want to show them to you. Come on up here, buddy. Sit down. Show the pup. Da -da -da -da. This is my little hey. puppy. There he is. He's so cute. Look at that face. So, his name is Otis. Otis. O-T-I-S. Meet Otis, everybody. Hello, Otis. He's the latest at the Omni Compound. Hello, Otis. Say hi to your fans. He's such a good boy. This happens to be my buddy Greg, a real estate extraordinaire. Hello, Greg. Look at this little puppy. So, anyway, thank you. Thank you all for your help. Thank you. Thank you so much. The names were fantastic. Your t-shirts will absolutely go out. And traders, remember, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it'll help keep your emotions at bay or come out and pet the dog or something. And you know what that is. You ready, pup? Stops are in. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.